guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. Happy Mother's Day. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, and I sure hope that you do, leave me a comment or just say hello. I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration, and this collaboration is called Mother's Day Flowers for Mom. And this collaboration is being hosted by, hosted by Chrissy. Chrissy has an absolutely wonderful channel here on YouTube. It's been a long time since I've participated in a collaboration with Chrissy, and I'm excited to participate today. I will leave a link to Chrissy's channel down below if you haven't seen it. I will also leave a link down below to the other content creators that are participating in this collaboration. Now the details to this collaboration is that we can do anything that we want, but we have to use some type of florals. So today I am going to make a Mother's Day plaque. Let's get started. And I'm going to be using paper twine from Miss Sparkle and Company. And then I've got some paper that I've used, um, some decorative paper that I've used in other projects that I'm going to be using. I'm going to set this over to the side. I've also got my Big Shot. You probably can't see that. It's off camera right over here to the side that I'm going to be using to help me create this project as well. I got some Nouveau drops. I'm not sure if I'm going to be needing those or not, but I have them. And some scissors. And I have a tape dispenser. And the main piece that I'm going to be using is a decorative tile. I got this from Home Depot. Um, I like the color, and I'm going to be using this as my Mother's Day plaque. Now this plaque, I'm going to leave it the way that it is. I like the way it looks. I like these colors. Uh, it, it matches the countertops and the backsplash in my kitchen. I happen to like it. I chose it this color. But you know, you can get any color tile you want. You can get glossy. You can get matte. This happens to be a matte finish. You can get white. Whatever color that you want to use. You can also decoupage these um, to make your Mother's Day plaque. But I won't be decoupaging today. So now I'm going to cut this down. I think that's good okay then I am going to use this one and I am going to cut this so if that was so this is five and a quarter by five and a quarter this I'm going to cut down to five by five
Let's put it right there. Now I add my glitter paper. Add a little pop of glam to it. there now I'm just gonna take and add my um, my sticker my 3d sticker um, some of you may remember these stickers from a project that I did before I believe it was a collab that I did a spring collage um, I'll link that video up above it was lots of fun so I know I want to use this one and I even thought about using two but I don't know if I have a space for two I know I have space for one. I love these 3D stickers. I love making my own, but I like the ones that are like this as well. They're pretty. I prefer it just like that. Kind of clean. Ah, that's it. Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. I like how it turned out. If you enjoyed it too, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I appreciate you being here and would love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. I want to thank Chrissy for inviting me to participate in her collaboration, Mother's Day Flowers for Mom. It was lots of fun, just as I remembered. Now make sure you hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also remember to like and share because it helps my channel to grow. I've linked other videos down below in the description box. Make sure you stop and check them out too. I will also leave a link to my second channel, Creative Glam Crafts. And on that note, have a blessed day. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.